welcome to part two of this 360 video series of Top Gun's Alamo. Let's get right to the action. So let's give you some context here. To the left, there's an elbow, which if you've played a Top Gun, you're familiar with. There's a, there's a pond structure and an elbow that everybody needs to work around. But because there are less paintballers in this year's Alamo, maybe, maybe I'm just wrong, but I think it was because of the numbers. The Mexican side, our side, and the Texan sides were a little closer to each other off the break. And it allowed us, our Mexican side, to get through this village that I'm approaching and get to this valley. And again, if you've played there, you know this valley gets, it's like a bog. You can lose your shoes in this if you don't tie your shoelaces very tight. And in m many years in the past, the, Texcan, <laughs> Tex the Texans will reach the Mexicans right here at this village. They'll be able to make their way across this little valley and in the context of this game, it's called the Rio Grande, Unless and up into this village, and there's a lot of battles taking place early here. However, in this case, we're able to get to the village, to the crest of the hill that, that, that leads down into the valley, and actually get down into the valley before the Texans even engaged us. So we really were able to take a little more land off the break than in past uh, years. So now you got a little bit of context. It took us about 25 minutes to take this valley from, from edge to edge, where we got down into it and back up. So I'm right now sitting in, in very, very wet ground. I'm feeling it on my knees. My legs are getting soaking wet. So that gives you an idea. And I'll let you take it from here and just enjoy it. Here's a little contextual note for you. You see that grassy edge? That represents the tape line. And up that grass edge as it slopes upward is where the, te are where the Texans are shooting from. In relation to this valley, I am a point man. I'm at the tip of the spear down in this valley. Now, if you're curious what my mental model is in this situation, when I see teammates reach me and come up as far as I am and, and bump up in front of me, that emboldens me and motivates me to move forward. I, I want to be at the tip of the spear. I want to be the point man. And I like the brawl. So you'll notice that I continuously push, continuously push here.
real quickly here, I'm running a Dye DSR with a 14 inch setup. I'm running an ultralight boomstick and the uh, Dye rotor with a Ninja tank. I'm running a 45 uh, stubby. And uh, right here to the left, you're going to notice that one guy puts a bounce on me, which motivates me to move here eventually. I'm going to make a call out to Adrian from the high rollers to see if I can move. And I do. This is really Stop one of those situations where we're just pushing them all over. I'm not having to play too tight. I'm not really too worried. Uh, I'm just uh, plucking a few off and then bumping. Plucking a few off and bumping. Tell me you don't love that. That was great. I said I wanted to make a move. They asked me to hold up. Then they throw a lot of paint. Professional. That was great. Hey, Rhea, talk to me. Talk to me. What do I got? just a couple more details here so we're off to the right there on that right side down that tape line my son Dalton danger boy is pushing up I'm about to jump this creek bed and bump, make I'm gonna make two more bumps before this video comes to an end and when I do get to the end here you're gonna see me get actually stung by a wasp or at least you're gonna see my reaction to it it did catch me by surprise uh, it's been about four days since uh, that wasp thing I still feel it As we wind down this video, I hope you don't mind. I'm going to have to do a few shout outs here to my sponsors. Dye Paintball. Now, why would I want you to do business with them? Everybody knows they're a great product, but why? The reason is because elegance is predicated on fewer parts. Not only is that great for design, that's great for workmanship. The fewer the parts, the less that can go wrong. And I got to tell you, when it comes to the gear that I've owned over the years, they have been absolutely fantastic in terms of unprecedented holding up in tough situations. A lot of my gear over the years taken abuse and there's things that have gone wrong. Less has gone wrong with my die gear than anything else. Next I'd like to thank you, send a thanks out to Ninja Paintball. They provide my tanks. Now if you're looking for unparalleled customer service and a product that's made in the United States of America, go with Ninja Paintball. They're at ninjapaintball.com. Tell them Danger Man sent you. Next is 187pb.com. They provide my decals. You want a really aggressive quote? Tell them Danger Man sent you, and they'll sharpen their pencil even more. Again, if your team is looking for decals, 187pb.com. Last, Patchwork.com. Patchwork's been good to me over the years. Believe it or not, they're out of Germany. And if you're looking for the best, when, you've re when you want to reach the big leagues with your paintball team, then you go for the injection molded patches that have the Velcro attachments to them. And that's at Patchwork.com. Let them know Danger Man sent you. I hope you guys don't mind that I shilled there a little bit. I'd also like to thank Top Gun for having me out. They're fantastic hosts. I hope you guys stick around for the follow-up videos here for the final battle. Those are quite exciting. I'd have to say they are obviously a little more exciting than these opening battle sequences. So stick around for those. Okay, here's something interesting. I'm going to bump into this next bunker. I'm going to get hit by a paintball call for a paint check and in the absence of a ref finally showing up I touch up and feel the paint and call myself out and that's the moment that I get stung by the wasp and, which further motivates me to just do it. that's it I'm done so check it out this is kind of interesting take your 360 and point it down at my head and you'll see the paintball hit and break on my head paint check 
On the head, paycheck on the head. Paycheck on my head. Paycheck on my head. Ref, you there? Yes or now? Oh shit! Just got stung. Damn! Hey! There's a wasp in there that just stung me. Be careful. Fuck that hurts. Yeah, Hope not. We'll find out, won't we? <laughs> right in there in the top. See that webbing? Yeah, yeah. Shoot that webbing out. Okay, everybody. We'll see you in the next video for the final battle videos in 360. Hopefully you like those and you'll give me some shares, some likes, and some comments.